Hi, I'm Michelle, and this is Somewhere in Bookland. So today I wanted to talk about my top six favorite Dean Koontz books. I'm saying six because I couldn't narrow the fifth one down. The final one, I couldn't narrow it down. So I just decided to make a six, so I didn't have to have a tie for five. So you don't know this about me yet, but I love Dean Koontz books. Now I haven't read them a lot recently, but when I was younger, and especially in high school, I devoured Dean Koontz books. My mom had a lot of his books, and so I just picked one up one day, and I read it, and then I picked all the rest up and read them. So now, I'm gonna go from the bottom to my most favorite. So coming in at number six is my most recently read Dean Koontz book, and that is Ashley Bell. This book is about 22-year-old Baby Blair who gets told by the doctors that she's dying. But two days later, she's miraculously cured. And she thinks she was cured so she could find and protect this girl, Ashley Bell. But trying to find Ashley Bell forces her to go into this world of crime and corruption. And there's this guy who's just evil. And Bibi Blair is also a writer, so that whole concept of her being a writer is kind of cool. Possible spoiler alert. There is paranormal-ish stuff in this book, but it's amazing and I highly recommend it. Coming in at number five is a book that has caused me to think about it on more than one occasion, and that is Cold Fire. This book is about this guy, Jim Ironheart, who goes around and saves people. Like, he'll just get this feeling that something bad's gonna happen and he needs to be here and save this person so he goes and saves this person and it's about him learning why this happens to him and how it happens to him and he meets this girl Holly Thorne who's a reporter and is interested in the story of why this is happening like he'll just he won't be told to go save the whole airplane he'll just be like you need to save this girl off this airplane because something's going to happen. And it's an interesting story. And there's this lighthouse, like, you could see that there's a lighthouse. But there's this lighthouse and there's this thing. And oh, I don't really know how to explain Dean Koontz's books very well. That's what I've realized. All his books are... Ooh. So, again, possible spoiler. This one also has, like, paranormal stuff. I don't know. <sighs> I can't explain his books very well. But this is number five. Number four on the list is Lightning. And this one's about this girl, Laura Jane. And like, you go through her life. From birth through growing up and the trouble she's gone through. And there's always this mysterious stranger who goes and saves her. And there's like, stuff in this book. Like, I don't know what I can say about Dean Koontz's books that doesn't spoil it. Like, there's something in this book that happens near the, like, end. And, oh, I don't know how to explain it without spoiling it. I don't want to spoil it. There's just stuff that happens in her life. And there's always this one same guy that keeps popping up throughout her life to save her. Like, and he looks the same, he's the same every single time, he pops up and he saves her most of the time at the very last minute and it has to do with her and him and stuff and why he's always there to save her and I don't know how to explain it, I really don't know how to explain this book but I like this book, this is number four. Number three is Odd Thomas, ooh can you see that? Shiny. So this book is about this guy, Odd Thomas, who can see dead people. It's like The Sixth Sense, except better. He can see them, they can't talk to him. He can also see these things, things that are like shades and they, they're evil. And when you see a whole bunch of them, that means something bad is gonna happen and people are gonna die. So the more you see, the more people will die. And he starts seeing a whole bunch of them. And in my head, they're kind of like Dementors. But he starts seeing a whole bunch of them and he has to try and figure out what's going down and stop it before it gets too late. And Elvis is in this book and he's a ghost and he follows him around and he's friends with him. But like I said, the ghosts don't talk. This is number 
three. There's a whole series he has of these books and I love them. I must admit I stopped reading them at some point and this is just throwing the lighting off so bad for this book but I stopped reading them at some point and now I have to finish because I think he finally finished it and I have to go catch up and finish. Okay, Odd Thomas. Coming in at number two is False Memory and this one's about this girl Marty Rhodes and her husband and it's about mind control and it's a psychological thriller and, and it's amazing and I love it and there are some adult scenes in this book. There's adult scenes in like all of his books. He is an adult author. By adult scenes I mean rated R scenes you know. Just mind control and she has to, they have to figure it out and it's so like I think about some of the scenes in this one so often and there's this one like villain in here and oh my gosh this is one of the first books I read by him and I loved it I just loved it coming in at number one is from the corner of his eye this is definitely my favorite Dean Coons book and I've read this multiple times and I love it every single time and I loved this book. It's about so many different things, follows so many different stories but they all wind up getting tied up together in the end and it follows this boy and his mom and his name is Bartholomew and he's super smart and he loses his eyesight and then he has there's this multiple dimensions thing going on in this book and there's this little girl and yeah this book it's just my favorite Dean Koontz book this book is my favorite book of his and I love it and Bartholomew is awesome and there's a little girl in here whose name I can't remember Angel is her name Angel? I don't remember her name is, but she is so cute, and oh my gosh, they're so cute together, and Bartholomew is amazing, and he loves to read, but then he loses his eyesight, and it's so sad, but it's a big plot of the story, and then there's this guy who's just evil, he's just evil evil and every time he does something bad like his body revolts against him which is hilarious and I just loved this book so much I loved it from the corner of his eye that's me look I'm, I'm at the corner of his eye love this book so those are my top six favorite Dean Coons books now I know a lot of people have like this love-hate relationship with Dean Coons from like reviews either people love him or they hate him or they used to love him and now they hate him or whatever I love Dean Koontz and so those are just my personal favorites if you look them up a lot of people hate some of those books like hate them with a passion but I am not one of them I am a lover of those books lover um there are some trigger warnings for some of these books that I will leave in the description down below if you want to look at them just if you want to know trigger warnings for them um, just click it down below click it down below click it down below so thanks for watching like if you like this video subscribe if you want to see more of this face in your feed and have you read any dinkoots if you have comment down below with your favorite book of his and if it's one I haven't read yet I might just have to read it because I still have so many I haven't read I recently bought 77th Shadow Street I think it's called and it's so thick and I haven't picked it up yet because it's so thick okay bye so this book Look, I'm so dark, and now I'm so bright.